Uh, my name is Jackson Kroger. I'm a third year finance student uh, at the University of Minnesota. Um, I grew up in a lot of poverty and addiction in my household. And so I always thought, you know, I'd want to be a finance major or a business major to kind of alleviate that issue and be able to, you know, provide for myself. When I was in high school, my brother started training MMA and uh, the sport of brother I am, I was all about it. Um, but I always pictured myself as the behind the scenes business guy, uh, help him with social media, try to find him sponsors, um, the whole works. And, you know, eventually um, I got into it too, you know, just as a way to help him practice, just as a way to have another body there and to make him better. I always reviewed myself as kind of the side character to his main character. By the time I graduated high school, and in high school I was very active in debate, and there was a void kind of left by graduating. I didn't have a team like I did on the debate team. I didn't really have anything to occupy my time. So I ended up uh, pursuing and, and finding fighting to kind of fill that void. And then I moved up to Minneapolis for my freshman year. Um, and then my grandfather died. I ended up moving back down from the dorms halfway through the fall semester. You know, it was kind of just meandering through life, you know, doing little things here and there. But eventually that winter, um, we found a decent gym and uh, we started training a little bit more. My brother got more committed and I never be I got more committed by being his roommate. And so I started, I started training and actually um, trying to level myself up as a fighter, as a, a striker. And, you know, I had a little bit of guidance with a couple of coaches. And, you know, I didn't really think of myself as a guy who would ever fight, but just, you know, it was a skill that I could see myself growing, that I could, you know, really feel confidence from being able to be the guy who, who could fight or be, you know, a man's man in a sense. And as I kept getting better and I kept leveling up my skill, I eventually decided maybe I would want just one or two fights just to, just to do it and, and check it off the bucket list. I started training more, I started being more committed and really training for just a fight or two. And that summer after my freshman year, I was able to have a kickboxing fight. I was 125 pounder of flyweight and I was supposed to fight another 125 pounder of flyweight. Um, we get to the venue and my guy had pulled out and they didn't have anybody besides this 155 pounder. And, you know, and despite some reluctance by uh, my brother who was coaching that fight, I decided to still take the fight. And uh, the first round I did exceptionally well. I mean, I, I truly, truly kept striking him. And if he was any smaller, there was a, a good chance he probably would have been down. Um, as the fight wore on, my cardio was lacking, which is something you normally see during somebody's first fight because, you know, you don't realize how different a true fight is versus just training or practicing. You can run as many miles as you want and spar as much as you want, but there's nothing that replicates actually being in there. And so my cardio wore on, and him being a lot bigger an opponent, he was able to kind of take the lead in the next two rounds. And while I lost the fight, it's definitely one of my greatest experiences to be able to, you know, tell people, yeah, I, I, I just kickboxed somebody. And the fact that he was so much bigger than me made it even better. I mean, uh, nobody cared that I lost. It was that, oh, you, you, you were so small and you went and fought this huge dude. And, you know, it was a, just a giant confidence boost. And everybody just thought I was like, such a, a cool person and such a unique, distinct person from so many of my peers. And it really, it really got me hooked. You know, it's, it's a sport where it doesn't matter. How, obviously athleticism plays a role, but compared to other sports, it, it's not an athletic sport. It's nine out of 10 times you're gonna win if you work harder than your opponent. So when I'm, I'm running four miles a day, it's not because I love running. No, I, I hate running. It's because I, I tell myself my opponent's not doing this. And so if I'm running these miles and my opponent's not, my opponent's going to gas out after round two, but I'll be ready for round three.
you know, there's a, a lot of people here, and I'm making a lot of connections, and this this activity, this combat sport, boxing, is somewhere where there's so much room for growth, and there's so many different people, and that's one of the great things about boxing or any combat sport is it's a, a uniter. No matter what race you are, no matter your um, income class, no matter wherever you are in society, whether you know, you're an outcast or you've been the cool kid, whether you're, you've been to prison, whether you've been a Mr. Goody Good Shoes, you can just leave it all outside. And once you enter the gym, you're all, you're all the same. You're all on the same level and nobody cares about anything but making each other better. And that's, you know, one of the great things that really made me want to commit to boxing and want to continue on in the life of combat sports and you know, just the people are amazing, and you know, you, you when you meet these people, you want to you want to help them the best you can. You want them to be great, and you want to be great yourself. But you want to be great as a team.